Hey guys, my name is Matthew Hamill, and I just wanted to shoot a real quick video on the topic of Zervita being a scam. Now, I know that if you're watching this video, you found me through the search engines, and you're looking to see if the Zervita opportunity is a legitimate one, or if it's just a, a scam. Now, first, before I get into the nuts and bolts of Zervita, I really have to tell you that most people, okay, that cry scam in this industry, have failed miserably in this industry. Okay, the, the, the failure rate in this industry is about 97%, which means most people, 9 out of 10, are going to fail when they join a company in the network marketing industry. Now, the reason why they failed is honestly, they got into a business opportunity thinking that they were going to make some fast cash, easy money, you know, they, they had the get rich quick scheme, even though, you know, they, they are against get rich quick schemes. They had the get rich quick scheme mentality and um, what they were doing didn't work and what's traditionally taught in the industry really doesn't work anyways, so what they took from their training um, wasn't working for them even though they applied it and they tried hard and they talked to everybody that they knew they chased people at the mall they put up flyers in the parking lots and blah 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 harass friends and family all that good stuff um, didn't work they failed they quit and they walked away thinking that the company and the industry was a scam now here I really want to share with you what differentiates a legitimate home-based business opportunity from a scam okay now first I'll, I'll talk about the so-called pyramid scheme okay a pyramid scheme is where people make money off of bringing other people into the business that's it it's the only way you make money okay and whoever's at the top obviously is the winner now a, a legitimate business opportunity in network marketing um, allows people to make money make commissions off of sales of products and services now you may make you know a few bucks if somebody comes into your organization and buys a starter kit but remember they bought the kit okay you're making a commission off of the person buying the starter kit and not necessarily off of their enrollment okay they're you're not making money off of them becoming a distributor for the company is that clear okay so now that we've got that out of the way let's talk a little bit about personal development and really what it takes to build a network marketing business now this 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 business model can free you of your job can give you uh, you know tons of time freedom can give you financial freedom it can do all the things that they promise it can do the only thing is you have to become a better student at marketing and promotion okay harassing your friends and family and chasing people at the mall is not how we build our businesses one, our businesses are built. Our, our businesses are based upon relationships. Okay, you have to understand that this is more of a relationship marketing kind of thing, and that's how word of mouth really works. Word of mouth is based upon relationships. Now, if you're running up to perfect strangers that don't know anything about you, why would they join you in business? Honestly, why would you join me in business if you didn't know anything about me? Okay, if if you had no standing relationship with me, why the heck would you join me? You wouldn't, and that'd be smart of you, because you don't know anything about me, you don't know if I'm a scam, you know, you don't know what I'm up to. So, that's what you really need to understand, is you need to better yourself and, and develop yourself and, and soak yourself in personal development training, as well as becoming a student of marketing, okay? A true student of marketing. Learn how to market your products, learn how to market your service, learn how to market your business opportunity. Okay, nine times out of ten, the only way you're going to sell any of those things is by becoming the solution to people's problems. Okay, it's not really about the company or the service or the product or the compensation plan. It's about you. Okay, what can you personally offer to your prospects that will make their life a hundred percent better? Okay, what are, excuse me, what are you going to do? What can you offer? What can you give them? What kind of value can you share with them that's going to make their lives better? And then and only then do you bring your business in. On the back end, it's not about your business. Understand that it's about you. And this goes the same with any other company, including Zervita, okay? You have to work Zervita this way. Otherwise, you're not really going to build the kind of business, the kind of income, the kind of freedom that, that you want and that we all dream of in this industry. Okay, so understand that the industry is not a scam. Zervita, absolutely, 100% is not a scam. The problem 
is with people joining these companies, joining this industry, with people joining Zervita and having no understanding of marketing, of promotion, of how to truly run a business. I mean, do you think Coca-Cola and Pepsi run out going door to door chasing people trying to sell them their products? Of course not. They do marketing, okay? They go after people that are thirsty. That are looking for something refreshing and and bubbly and you know all the good things that are in uh, that people are looking for within their target market. That's what they do. People come after Coke and Pepsi. Okay, that's how you should run your business in Zervita. That's how you should run your business. Whether you're doing a brick and mortar company or you're in the network marketing industry, it should be about people coming after you rather you going after them. So again, Zervita is not a scam. They sell a health and wellness product called Zeal right now. They allow their associates to sell um, deregulated natural gas and electricity here in the United States. And they also do online marketing for small businesses, as well as a bunch of other little things that they're working on. I think they have health insurance, or at least they still do. Um, you know, I mean, they've got a lot of stuff to offer. But again, you're only making money off the products and services that you're selling. Hands down. That's it. So, my friends, it was great talking to you today. My name is Matthew Hamill, again, and if you have any questions or concerns or want to learn more about internet marketing and attraction marketing and how to have people chase you rather than you chasing them, feel free to visit me at the website below this video. It's MatthewJHamill.com, and feel free to just ask me any questions that you may have about the industry, marketing, promotion, personal development, anything that's on your mind, feel free to come talk to me. And until next time, we will talk to you soon.